Hey everybody, let's do it again. Let's do these perfect tenses and progressive tenses and tenses out the wazoo again today. And hopefully yesterday things began to click and you began to understand more about the perfect tenses. Today we're going to continue, we're going to start off with perfect tenses and then we're going to, to progress to the progressive tense. <laughs> All right, so go to page 29 in your packet and then just like yesterday make sure you have your cheat chart uh, <coughs> your cheat chart out right um, so that you can look at helping verbs and that kind of thing okay so on page 29 in your packet it starts off describing what present perfect is so we know that it is a um, present perfect we have to have a have or has helping verb and then our verb is going to end with ed or en so that's kind of what the paragraph up at the top says. You can re you can read that if you if you need to. I'm going to skip down to the directions on right above number one. Okay, so choose the best verb or verb phrase from the options. So obviously we're supposed to choose the present perfect verbs. Okay, what's my clue for my perfect tenses? What's the clue? The H helping verb ed on the end. So here we go. My phone. What do you think? has been, that's right, dead all weekend. I haven't received any messages yet. Perfect, okay? Number two, Ben has watched SpongeBob every day since he, now look what, what do you think this one is? He has turned two or he turned two? I think it's turned, he turned two because it's not it, it, it happened one time, so it was it, him, him turning two happened once. When you have your perfect tense, it's, it's something that happens more than once, okay? So, Ben needs to get a life, but he has watched SpongeBob every day since he turned two. Number three, so I blank you a thousand times, not blank to me, okay. So apparently, this person has talked to this other person several times. So it's a it's a action that's been repeated. So I have told you a thousand times not to call me that. So quit. All right. Not to call me that. Now flip over. I mean, go down to number four. And we have past perfect tense, had, and then ed or en form of your verb. So, and then once again, perfect means it's an action that has, has happened more than once. So number four. Number four, when I blank off the bus, I blank that I blank my backpack at home. Oh, that is such a horrible feeling. All right, so here we go. When I, now is he getting off the bus repeatedly or did this happen one time? He got off the bus that day, so it's one. So I got off the bus. I, did he realize repeatedly or did he realize in that instant? In that instance, so I realized that I, what, left my backpack at home. So it's hopefully, I hope it's not a recurring instance for this little fella, but we're, ho we're hoping this was a one-time thing. So he got off the bus, he realized, he left. All right, no perfect tenses because it's a one-time thing. Number five, he blank hundreds of dollars upgrading his car just before he, oh no, blank it, okay? So we're thinking that he didn't do it, he didn't do it all at once. It was a progressive thing with him on his car. So he had spent hundreds of dollars upgrading his car just before, all right, how many times do you think he's gonna do this? It's a one-time thing. So just before he wrecked his, it, okay? Mm. Number six. We soon blank that the frost blank all of the plants. All right, so we soon, it was, we, we knew it right then. It was like a sentence, somebody told us, so we knew it right then. So we soon learned that the frost, okay, now think about it. Does frost just zap the plants all at once and it happens instantly? No, the temperature drops, it gets cold, they freeze and stay froze. So this takes a night, a couple of days, a couple of weeks. So this is a continuing thing. So it's gonna be, we soon learned that the frost had killed all of the plants. You got it? Good, all right. 
and then number seven. Are we doing okay? Number seven. The plane blank by the time we blank our baggage. Okay, so the first one is going to be will have left because it's a look at the paragraph above. The future perfect is used to emphasize a no later than time limit, like a deadline for when an action is to be completed. So the plane will have left. That would be the deadline by the time we check our baggage. So by the time we do this one thing, this will have happened. Okay, so plane baggage will have left by the time we check our baggage. Y'all got it? I know you do. I know you do. So that was 29. Flip over to 32. So that's a couple of pages we're going to flip. 29, 30, 31, 32. All right, so here's where the progressives come in. So perfect tenses, are, our clues are the H helping verbs, right? Have, has, had, have. Our progressive clue is going to be what? Three little letters that make all the difference. I-N-G. Progressive. Something is progressing. If you are progressing through the eighth grade, it is a continual action. If you progressively get better at your um, tennis game, it is a, a continual action. So progressive tense is a continual, a continuing action. Okay? So here we go. Um, and remember the ing, that's going to be our clue. So in the following tenses, we're going to replace the simple verb with progressive verb phrase. But keep the tense, just like we did on the other page. So if it's past tense, we need to use a past progressive tense. This is easy. We can, we can so do this. Okay. The star basketball player shoots a three-pointer. All right? Shoots. What tense is that in? Present. Very good. So now we need to do present progressive. So the star basketball player is shooting a three-pointer. Okay? Number two, he starts in every game on his high school team. They need that kid. All right? Starts present. So now we're going to do present progressive. So we have to, we know it's going to be starting. So we have to do is or are present. He is starting in every game. Very good. He played ball on the street as a kid. Played past tense. So now we need to do past progressive so look up at the top he was playing ball on the street as a kid that's how we go from past to past progressive number four every day he competed against boys that were older than he was that's what made him better he was challenged see that's what I do for you in class that's how I make you better I challenge you in class if it were easy you wouldn't get any better that's, see it all connects it just all connects all right Every day, so competed past tense, we need to go to past progressive. Every day he was competing. Are you writing that down? Write down your answer. Number five, he will join an NBA team next year. Wow, so he really is good. Will future, that's our, pre, that's our clue. So now we've got to go to future progressive, and it's going to be he will be joining an NBA team next year. Number six, one day the boy from the street will earn a championship MVP award. Okay, so will future. So now we need to go to future progressive, future so he will be earning a championship MVP. Got it? I know you do. All right, flip over and let's go to page 32, next page. So we're gonna enter, enter, identify progressive and perfect verb phrases in the following excerpts from Drums, Girls, and Dangerous Pie by Jordan Sonnenblick. The number in parentheses tells you how many verb phrases you're looking for. All right, so progressive, ing. Perfect, H helping verbs. Let's do this real quick. So pause the video, and then I want you to do one and two, and then come back and we're gonna check it, okay? So pause the video. All right, so here we go. Let's look at these. Number four, I was crying, progressive, so that's one. But when my mom started coming over to hug me, I ran upstairs for bed. If I had known, had known, perfect tense, that this would basically be the last time I'd have both parents paying attention to me at once, I probably 
would have taken, that's your third one, the hug. Now, where did I miss one? Progressive paying. Paying. That's number four. Paying is your progressive tense. Number two, I realized one last thing I hadn't thought about since I walked in the door after school. Had thought. Perfect tense. And I muttered to myself in the darkness. I, okay, sorry, had walked. That's your second perfect. Had thought, had walked. Guess what, Mom? I am going to be progressive. Am going progressive to be the star of my spring concert. Okay, number three. If you go from wrote to was writing, wrote is what tense? Past. Was writing is what tense? Past progressive. Very good. She works at McDonald's. Works is what tense? Present. She has worked is what? Has a helping verb perfect tense. Has worked. It is going to be present perfect. Very good. Y'all are all over this.